Hey there, what is going on? I hope you are doing so good. I am so, so, so excited to be here with you right now. And if you're on, I want you to go ahead and just comment, like, give me a thumbs up so I know that you are here to take in this wealth mindset for entrepreneurial goodness. Uh, so excited for you to be here. So go ahead, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart. What's up, Andrew? What's up, Sonello? What's up, Edgar? Hope you guys are doing well today. So I am so excited today to teach a really exciting concept. What's up, Timothy? About wealth, especially as an entrepreneur. So this one may even be a little bit longer. What's up, Rad? Good to see you, brother. So... Yesterday, day one of the Wealth Mindset for Entrepreneurs challenge, five-day challenge, day one, we talked about rich people are, dot, dot, dot. So my question to you is, what are rich people? And here's the question is, if rich people are, dot, 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 whatever you say they are, are you that? So some people think rich people are snobby, Rich people are rude. Rich people have high standards. Sometimes, you know, it may be positive things. Like one of the things I used to believe about rich people is that rich people are organized. Rich people are organized. But I wasn't organized, so therefore, I couldn't be a rich person. So really fascinating to think about that. So today, we're going to talk about an ancient law of money. And I want to talk about it from a particular spin that most people don't think about consciously or that they maybe haven't heard today is the law of reciprocity the law of reciprocity now we've all heard about the law of reciprocity that as I give something I receive something so when it comes to money one of the things that you can do is begin to give money so that you receive money in return and it is the coolest exercise. So one of the things that I used to do, and I'm actually starting to do again, in fact, if you saw my photo from earlier today, I pulled out $30 so that over the next 30 days, I'm going to give a person a dollar every single day. And what this does is this begins to activate within me the ability to give of my energy so that I can receive of others energy. So I want you to take take a big inhale. Keep breathing in, keep breathing, keep breathing in, 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 keep breathing in. Eventually, you have to exhale. So all of life is a big give and a big receive, right? And so in order to enact that law, what we want to do, and in fact, what we must do, is we must do something very important. What's up, Charlie? Good to see you, brother. We must do something very, very important. I'm gonna share it with you right now. We must create a void. We must create a void. So in the universe, as there is a void, that is created, whether it be through a black hole or a white hole, or there are so many different kinds of holes in the universe, as you have a black hole and it creates a void, it then must be filled by something else. As there's a void, it must be filled by something else. So I want you to think about when you are in your closet and if you were to see, you know, all the things that you have, in fact, Sherry Starr, one of my awesome coaches shared this with me, when you have your closet full of clothing and it's, and it's filled to the brim, you're never going to be able to receive new clothing to put in that closet unless you take clothing out of that closet and give it to somebody else. That's the only way that you can receive new clothing. Now, same goes with money, that as we begin to give money, we then have the ability, we create a void in order to receive money. So literally for the next 30 days, I want to challenge you, and this is what I'm doing. Today was day one for me, and in fact, I gave away a $2 bill because I was intending to start yesterday, 
and I forgot. So today I gave away a $2 bill and tomorrow I'm gonna to continue to give away $1 bills for the next 30 days as an experiment. Uh, Amanda's done it before and has gotten tremendous results in her business. But what you're doing is you're enacting the law of reciprocity. The ability to create that void so that it must be filled by more of what you want. So chances are in our life we've created these bookmarks. These different patterns that have become stagnant, right? What's up, Alex? They've become stagnant because they're sitting in our life. They're sitting in our environment and we haven't chosen to move them or reevaluate them to get new things, right? And so the moment that you have reevaluate your money situation by saying, and instead of hoarding and trying to like keep as much money as possible, but instead say, you know what? Some of this is stagnant. We need to get some new fresh air in this money situation that we have here. By simply giving a dollar, you create an open vacuum for more to flood in. And in fact, in, um, in the Bible, in the Torah, in so many different religious texts, they speak to this idea that as you give 10%, it yields. In fact, as you, as you, whatever you want to receive, just simply giving 10% of that is going to yield all of that back to you. So, Super, super exciting law. And guys, what I want to do, I did something really, really special, uh, and I do this with all of my challenges, and I want to give this to you, is if you are one of my clients, you get to receive my kind of my awesome coaching and time and laser focus all the time. But if you are not one of my clients, and you're not somebody who I currently work with, I am so happy to give a gift of 15 minutes of my time on the phone to talk about your money blocks. So whatever it is for you that is not working, it's feeling a little funky in your money conversation with yourself, if you feel kind of blocked around money as an entrepreneur, I'm gonna give five people, five people today, my time to talk about your money blocks. Um, and I'll say one other thing really quick before we jump off, which is simply, what's up Nathaniel, what's up Jason? One other thing here is that if you are born into a nine to five setting, meaning your parents work nine to five jobs. This is probably one of the best things I've ever shared, guys. If you're born into a nine to five situation where your parents are working nine to five, chances are there is not much of an opportunity for there to be a void, right? Because you can't even take the chance of surrendering of like, you know what I'm gonna give knowing I will receive more because in that situation, everything is fixed monetarily. Everything is fixed monetarily, right? So when your parents receive a salary, it doesn't matter if they give anything because they're still gonna receive the same amount, right? Whereas if you're an entrepreneur, you actually get to work with the law of reciprocity on your side, right? And it can show up in a lot of different ways, but what I wanna say about money specifically as an entrepreneur is, is it can show up in money. If you're in a nine to fiver, it can show up in other ways, potentially, because your money is staying the same. But it can show up in love, it can show up in other ways, the law of reciprocity. But as an entrepreneur, you have the opportunity that it can show up specifically in your money. So with that being said, guys, here is to your wealth, here is to your abundance, and in all areas and facets of life. So go ahead, guys, comment below, share this with anybody who you think this would be really valuable for, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for day three of Wealth Mindset for Entrepreneurs. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon.